Let's start back here with Jason. Oh. Uh, Dave, uh, congrats on the win. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Um, what, uh, just tell us what that moment's like for you guys as a group, given everything you've been through and, and just how good you, you feel for Mezzi to come through there. Oh, that's big. I mean, especially because um, uh, we had, you know, on that losing streak, and then we end up winning OKC, and then we end up winning this game. So we just keep stacking days, like Rico said, and then, like all the coaches preach every day. We just try to stack days, and then it was a good win for us. Alvin just said that you know you guys really root for Mezzi because you know what kind of work he puts in. So can you elaborate just on that side of it to see him have a, a moment like this and come through for you? Yeah, hundred percent. Like we're all proud of him. I mean, he's always in the gym. He's always the first person in the gym. He's in the gym right now. Like he's in on the practice court right now working out. So we we knew that he was going to hit that shot. We glad he took that shot. I mean, we all had confidence in him, and he hit and knocked it down. Are they really using the practice facility right now? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Davion, you came out firing. Uh, just, I know how much you love to be on the court. How how hard was this stretch uh, to sit out? And then when you got the opportunity to come back in, how much did you want to perform? Yeah, I mean, it was tough. I mean, I mean, especially just sitting out 10 days and just watching my team on TV is kind of hard. I mean, especially when you're on the team. But, I mean, for me just to come in, um, the coaches just told me to be aggressive. Um, you're going to find your rhythm if you just keep being aggressive. So that's what I did, and I came out. we came out with a win. Davian, obviously the challenges and struggles of this team have been well documented over the last few games in which you were out. Does a win like this, can you look at it as kind of like a turning point uh, you know, of the season as you guys look ahead now? What does it do for the team? I mean, I think every day we just try to get better at something. We try to go 1-0 in every day, um, even in practice and film session. Um, we just try to take one, one, time at, one thing at a time and just get better at it. I think this game is definitely a turning point for us because, I mean, like we did a really good job defensively holding them to 94 points and we won the game. So we're just going to keep stacking days, like they said, and just keep getting Ws. So on the other side of that, um, and you guys are going to see these guys in another 24 hours still, but it seemed like, you know, Brunson and uh, Porzingis was playing a two-man game in that second half, no doubt. Uh, but Brunson, which is, you know, at one point knocking some points down, what do you have to say about his game and looking forward to playing him again in another 48 hours? Yeah, he's really nice. Um, he's always playing at his own pace. Um, he's getting always getting to his spots, getting his teammates involved. He knows how to run the team really well. I mean, you can see that he's had some years in the league. I mean, he's been years in college. Like, he's just a mature player. I mean, you can't really ever speed him up. Um, he can knock down shots. I mean, he's really good for them. Davion, you came out and hit your first five shots in this one. Um, what was the process like for you kind of during that break, and how were you able to keep a rhythm during that process where you were in health and safety protocol? I wonder, did you isolate in an empty gym by yourself? What that looked like? No, nah, I mean, it was just more of like, I don't know. I mean, sometimes when you take some time off, you, you, you get your legs under you. Um, I think that my legs felt good today. I mean, especially coming in the first half, but I did get a little bit of winded, but my legs kicked in. I was fine. I started knocking down the shots. My teammates kept encouraging me to keep shooting the ball, and that's what I did. I know you, you've been out um, a little bit of time here, but Tyrese Halliburton, another ten assist night. Um, when you're playing off the ball with him, do you, like, do you have to be a little bit more aware of, of being able to you know, find an open spot? Or, or just what's that process like, knowing that he seems to be seeing the floor like he is right now? Nah, Tyrese sees everything on the floor. I mean, if you're open, he's always going to give it to you. He always makes the right play. I mean, coming off the ball screen, he's always looking for his teammates. Sometimes he needs to shoot the ball more. We tell him to shoot the ball more. But he's doing a really good job of running our team, um, getting each other involved, getting us involved, and um, just keep being a really good point guard. All right, we'll go ahead and take the last question on Zone. Christos, go ahead. Hey, David, for the welcome back. Uh, how big was that win mentally wise for you guys and what confidence boosting did you get from that win and especially with the way that you won tonight? Yeah, it was really big for us. I mean, especially because the the situation we've been in and when people getting out of protocols, um, a lot of people not playing. I mean, just to get this whole team back together and getting that win, it was really big for us. I mean, we're just looking for the next game. Um, we're going to try to get that W, too.